what's up guys welcome to my channel in this video today i will be sharing with you step by step how you can set up your deal hr platform from start to finish so to get started head over to deal.com the link will be in the description or the comment section of this video now once you're on deals website select get started here you decide which type of account you want to create if you're a business owner select business owner if you're a contractor select i am a contractor if you're an employee select i am an employee so i'm going to go with i am a contractor then select next on this page specify your first name your last name your email address as well as your password if you're not using a google account so once you have specified all this information then you select create deal account so are you a company are you are an individual i'm going to select i am an individual then select next so check your email now for a confirmation email which was sent to validate your email address so here's my email i'm going to select confirm my email so you will be redirected to the login page to login so select login at this step you need to provide your verification code which will be sent to your email once you are successfully logged in you'll be landed on the personal details page so complete all the personal information about yourself select your country of citizenship select your tax residence country select your legal status would you select whichever applies to you so i'm going to say i'm an individual you don't have to specify your tax id as yet and specify your id or passport number complete your date of birth because this is a required field and then once you have completed all the personal details then select next to continue on this page specify your address and then select complete profile now the first thing you want to do is verify your account details in order to receive payments so select verify my account specify a phone number so deal can send you a link or you can scan the qr code so i'm going to scan the qr code with my mobile phone so in order to scan the qr code all you need to do is just open your camera right and then aim it at the qr code then tap the link so this is what came up on my phone so i'm going to select let's go allow access to your camera so the next step is to scan the photo page of your id then the next step is to take a selfie and ensure your face is visible in the camera once your account is verified select continue now you can view your onboarding checklist so once your account is verified you can now start a contract with a client so it's on the main screen so you, you can select start contract or from the left you can select contracts so i'm going to select start here so i'm going to select i want to create a contract myself and then select continue decide on the type of contract you're adding i'm going to go with fixed rate so i'm going to say my name i'm going to say the residence of the person is jamaica as well name of the role accountant seniority level junior right scope of work i'm just gonna put some random thing here and for the contract date you can change whenever your contract starts so i'm gonna say february the 20th then select next then you can decide on your pay rate your payment frequency your invoice cycle when it ends and the payment due so i'm going to select 60 30 days and the 30th of every month now select next review the information for the contract select the contract end date so i'm gonna say 2024 and i'm going to put it at say the 29th now select next if you have additional documents you want to attract to your contract then you can select add if you have any special clause then you can also select add then select next so for a compliance contract you can use your own contract or use deal contract for simplicity i'll be using deal contract and then select create contract so this is a summary of the contract right and now you can invite a client to sign the contract so i'm going to send it to an email address of mine select send so the contract was sent for me to sign now 
I can view the onboarding checklist. So the next step is to create a compliance document. So select start and then here you'll see the list of compliance documents that you need to upload. So I'm going to skip this portion of it. So let's go back to the main home page. So the next important option is to set up your withdrawal method. So select withdrawal method, then select start and then these are the withdrawal methods that are available to you. Wise is very excellent, I've used it a lot and I've done several tutorials on Wise on my channel so you can check them out and Pioneer is excellent as well. So for example, I'm going to select Wise and then it will ask for my, then it will ask for the routing number, the account number and the account type and then select add and that's literally how you'd add a withdrawal method and then from Wise you can withdraw to your bank account. So that's it for now guys, I hope this tutorial helped you a lot. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comment section below.